What's up YouTube, it's Anthony from CompSci Studio and welcome back to your 30 second Java programming tutorial. So in this tutorial, this is probably going to be one of the easiest tutorials I've done since probably our second tutorial. Um, I probably could have even done it as a second tutorial and you guys would have gotten it right away. Um, basically all we're going to be doing is it's a specific type of variable, well, I can't really call it a type. Anyways, it's a keyword that you'll add on to your variable that basically says that I'm only going to initialize this variable with a value once. So it's a it's basically it's called a constant. Um, and the keyword that we use is final. In a lot of other languages, if you used other languages, you'll use um I think C does it this way, they use const as the keyword, but in Java it's actually final. Basically it says that okay, I'm creating a variable. I'm only gonna be initializing it once. Throughout my whole program, it's never gonna change. So um, you'll use this like in games sometimes. If you're making a game, let's say you had a, a basic side scroller, you would have your guy would have some attributes. It would have an X and Y coordinate. Obviously, those would change over time, so you wouldn't want to make that final. But you'd have gravity. Gravity is constant. If you guys don't know this, it's 9.81 meters per second um, squared uh, because it's a it's an acceleration. Um, so yeah, that won't change over time. At least I hope gravity doesn't change so in a game you would make a a constant variable to store your gravity um, so yeah I'll just show you guys how to use it it's really easy so let's get started um, first off you're just gonna want to say final and that is basically saying that I'm gonna have a variable that's never gonna change and then you're gonna use your uh, type out your variable type so let's make it uh, we'll make it a string and then we're gonna set our string, we're just gonna give it a name and we'll call it, let's see, beef sandwich. I think I spelled that right, but whatever. And we'll set that equal to, uh, oh, one other thing. Actually, when you're making a final, or a constant variable, a final variable, you always use all uppercase. And this is just by convention. You don't have to, but it's good programming practice. So when people are reading your programs, they're like, oh, okay, this is all in capital letters. It's a final variable. So I would name this beef underscore, and you use underscores to separate um, the words when you're using a constant variable sandwich. And we'll set this equal to, whoops, yummy. Actually, yummy in my tummy. I love beef sandwiches. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's how you make a final string. Now we could just use this like any other type of variable. We just print it out if we wanted to. We would use it by beef underscore sandwich. And we can print that out. And yummy and my tummy. Um, so now that we set the value, we cannot go and say, let's go beef underscore sandwich. And we can't like set it equal to like uh, I don't like it or something like that we can't do that as you can see cannot assign a value to final variable beef sandwich it's like okay Anthony you just made a variable you called it final and now you're saying that you want to change it you're lying to me and it gives you an error um, so you can't do that if you make a final you have to keep it as a final variable throughout your whole program if you wanted to really change it, to, if you ended up changing it in your uh, program, just delete final and boom, you can change it. Um, but other than that, if you make a final variable, you cannot change it throughout the life of your program. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. As you can see, it was pretty darn easy. Um, so yeah, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.